In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on absolute maxima, absolute minima. It says find absolute maxima and absolute minimum values, absolute minimum values, sorry, of fx is equal to x minus 1 whole square plus 3 in minus 3 comma 1. That is the interval given to us. A previous year examination question, let's write solution. Now, what has been given a function and what is the function fx? Let us write y is equal to fx is equal to x minus 1 whole square plus 3 which is the function. Now, what do you have as dy by dx? My dy by dx which is equal to f dash x is the first order derivative. So, it is twice of x minus 1 which is nothing but 2x minus 2. Now, can we get a stationary point from this? Yes, definitely. If I name this as equation number 1 and I write put equation number 1 equal to 0 or if you are not comfortable with it, you can write again as in the previous questions we have written, put dy by dx equal to 0, you get a stationary point. So, it is nothing but 2x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 1. Now, one value that you have got is 1. And you are not only about to check for f of 1, where is f of 1? It is 1 minus 1 whole square plus 3 which is 3. But also for the boundary values, boundary values are minus 3 and 1 out of which 1 has already been included. So our task has become very simple, we are only supposed to check for minus 3. Now f of minus 3 is what? You are going to put minus 3 in the question, so it is minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus 3. 4 square is 16 plus 3 which is 19. So, which is minimum out of these values? This value is minimum. So, you write that minimum which is nothing but absolute minimum. I write in short absolute minimum value is what? It is nothing but absolute minimum value is 3 and absolute maximum value is 19. Now, in this question, you have directly got the answer and it has become very simple. Why? Because the stationary point actually coincided with one of the boundary points. But otherwise, what will happen is you will have to check for the other boundary point too. Suppose this was x is equal to 5. So, f of 5 you need to check. Then you have to check for f of minus 3 also. Then you have to check for f of 1 also. But in this question, by chance, the boundary point and the stationary point became same. So, our task became simpler. So, this is how you do the questions based on absolute maxima and absolute minima.